Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that's a 72 Roadrunner. She's got a big stroker motor under the hood. She's been on the rotisserie, so the bottom side's just as red as the top side. Man, you're gonna love checking this one out. I love those great big old bumpers, all chromed up, looking sweet. We got the Roadrunner in the grill there. Actually, we got the emblem on the uh, hood there with the Roadrunner in there too. Just looking amazing. The body lines on the hood are looking sweet. Hood's fitting real nice. I love the blackout section in the hood also. Just looking absolutely cool as can be. This thing is a monster, man. Big stroker motor under the hood. Beautiful paint on it, just slick as can be. And then check out this interior. Looking beautiful. Door panel looking great. Carpeting also looking sweet. Four speed shifter in there. Great looking upholstery on the seats. We got seat belts in the back. Dash is in beautiful shape. Got an aftermarket Grant steering wheel there, tack mounted on the steering column, looking good. Just everything about this car, just absolutely cool as can be. Got some deep dish Keystone Classic wheels on there. Looking down the side of it, man, she is just straight as can be. Hey, I'll grab the keys and we'll get in the trunk. You can see the chrome back here on the back bumper, also looking sweet. Spoiler also on the back. I always forget you got to put these Mopar keys in upside down. Look at this. Always make sure you pull the mat up and look at the floor, but look at that floor, man. You want to talk about pretty? All painted red, looking good. Bottom side of the deck lid, the gutter system, everything under here is looking sweet. You can see how they had it all apart when they did the restoration, so everything's looking sweet. You look down that passenger side, straight as an arrow. Like I said, the body man knocked it out of the park on this one. And wait till you see the bottom of it. The bottom of it looks just as nice as the top side. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this car. We spent the time to check it out before we bought it. First thing that happens to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift and we inspect them so we can answer any questions you have about the car. Then we take pictures, we do our video, so you know exactly what the car is going to look like when we park it in your driveway. Let's go get him. Tell you what, this is one sweet machine right here. Wait till you see the bottom side of it, man. You want to talk about pretty? Bottom side of this car is just as pretty as the top side. She's looking sweet. You can get a load of under the hood, man. Just looking awesome, man. Tell you what, she has one great little Roadrunner here. You know, you see these cars all the time, but no, very rarely you see one done to this level of uh, perfection. They did a beautiful job on this car. Get the mailman in the way here. Come on, mailman, let's get out of the way. He's too busy looking at this car. He's not gonna be able to deliver the mail today after he saw this baby. Now we can deliver this car anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513.
Tom will tell you all about this beauty, man. She is gorgeous. We'd love to have you come check it out in person. Love to have our customers come visit. We don't uh, get a lot of customers coming into the shop because we do uh, sell most of our stuff sight unseen on the net. Got all these guys here slow playing me here. We may just have to pass us a little Saturn. Yeah, I think we'll just go around them. I don't know what they're doing. I think we got enough power. <laughs> So we're headed back to the shop now where we're going to do something that very few people do to every one of their cars in inventory. At Vanguard, we are proud of every one of our cars. We put every one of our cars up on the left so you can check out what the bottom side looks like. I'll tell you what, the bottom side will tell you as much about the car as you need to know. Anybody that spends that much time restoring the bottom side of the car you know the top side is quality. Hey, here's a new Mopar. Let's go get him. New TA. Looks like we got the road blocked again. Everywhere I go, they got the road blocked. Well, we're headed back to the shop right now. We're going to put this baby up on the lift for you. We're right here at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us. We're going in the air with it right now. All right, we're underneath this baby now, and man, she's pretty under here. Look at this thing. Three-inch exhaust coming all the way out. We got stainless tips there looking great. Now look at the shackles there on the springs. They're all brand new. The spring packs have also been rebuilt and they're all painted up. It's got that bare metal looking paint on there, looking sweet. The gas tank is also new. That Dana 60 in there has got an extra big heavy duty uh, aluminum cover on it. These bolts here put pressure on the main caps of the center section to make it a little bit stronger. We got a 354 gear in here. It is a sure grip. You see, uh, we got brand new shocks, it looks like, brand new brake lines. We got cow tracks here, brand new U bolts. Now, on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. You can see the floorboards are all painted up just as nice as the top. And then this baby's got frame extenders that look like they belong on there from the factory. Beautiful, beautiful work under here, man. You're going to have to invest in some mirrors so you can show off the bottom side of your car. We got brand new long brake line going front to back. Front to back. We got a brand new uh, fuel line going front to back. We got um, our A833 Mopar four-speed transmission. Say that three times real quick. We got explosion-proof bell housing. It's got the stock appearing uh, manual clutch linkage. Um, the torsion bars are all painted up looking good. Lower control arms are also painted up looking good. We got uh, disc brakes up front. What looks like fairly new shocks. We got new bushings on the sway bar here. K members all painted up looking good. Uh, the front balance here is painted right down to the bottom edge. The core support on the radiator also looks good. Um, up inside these wheelhouses, it looks like they've used like a bed liner material under there. That helps uh, cut down on any stone chips or rock chips uh, poking up through the top of the paint also. And then we got Keystone Classics. Man, I'd have given my left you-know-what to have these babies back in the day when I was a kid. Of course, I couldn't afford them back then. Um, we got 26 by 8 by 15 on the tire size. And look down the side of this baby. Look how nice and clean it is. You always, on every car you're looking at buying, make sure you look at this pinch weld. Make sure you feel the back side of the rocker with your hand. Look at the bottom side of the rocker also. Now this cut right here you see, that is where the quarter panel ties into the rocker. Every Mopar is like that. Up inside the wheelhouse here, also got that same bed liner material, all painted body collar. Out back here we got some sticky Mickeys. And these are, here it is, bring that light over here. I can't see anymore. 28 by 12 inch by 15s. Looking good. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we got a 505 stroker, baby. Looking sweet, too, man. Everything under here is clean as a whistle. Looks like we got an aluminum Edelbrock intake on there. Big old four barrel carburetor sitting on top. It's a dual feed carburetor. 
Got those Mopar performance valve covers looking sweet. Uh, we got aftermarket AC unit on there. All the lines are all polished up, ran real nice and neat. We got a good looking uh, aluminum radiator in here, an Optima battery. We got power brakes, power steering. Uh, firewalls all nicely painted. The inner wheelhouses are nicely painted. Got some big old tube headers there. It looks like they're jet coated. Looking good. Aluminum heads on this thing. Tell you what, this baby is set up to go and show. Bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. You see the core support down in here, all nice, neat, nicely painted. These are all the nooks and crannies you gotta look at when you're buying one of these cars. We got the MSD 6AL box fire net distributor. Looks like we got a blaster coil sitting there in front of the carburetor. Guys, this is one beautiful car right here. She's a road runner, she's red. It's got a 505 stroker in it. It's got a four speed Mopar transmission in there. Big old long shifter. Let's give us a call, 248-974-9500. Two four eight nine seven four nine five one three, and let Tom park this dream in your driveway.